Who is Liam Greentree? Greentree of the Windsor Spitfires of the OHL is a uh, forward prospect, six foot two, 214. He's also a left hand shot out of Canada. Here's what Elite Prospects has to say. Green Tree navigates his way around opponents with a series of lookoffs, give and goes, and a sophisticated delay game that allows him to problem solve his way around numbers off the rush. He's constantly scanning, registering his options, and the obstacles that would keep him from getting them the puck. Uh, this past season for the Windsor Spitfires, he was the captain. Had 36 goals, 54 assists, 90 points in 64 games. The year before that, he had uh, 25 goals and 20 assists in 61 games for Windsor. He also played on the uh, World Junior Championship uh, team for Canada with two goals, two assists in seven games. Let's get to Scott Wheeler's thoughts on Liam Green tree. Green tree is an interesting one because he was just okay at last summer's Holinka Gretzky Cup and played his way to a diminished role at this spring's U18 Worlds. After he stood out in pre tournament, he seemed to struggle with the pace against the better teams for Canada, but he was tremendous all year long for Windsor and one of the most consistent game to game players in the OHL. Last year on a deep Spitfires team, his consistency made him a regular factor. He scored 25 goals, and he was named to the league's first all-rookie team. This year, he was named captain of the Spitfires as they began a rebuild and led the team in scoring by a wide margin. His 90 points were 24 more than his nearest teammates to prove he could drive offense himself. But despite having a makeup, including size, strength, shot, secondary skill, work ethic, habits, and more that usually lends itself to being universally well-liked. And despite a strong showing at the CHL NHL top prospects game in which he scored, was robbed, and had multiple looks in a measuring stick game against other top prospects, he has some skeptics. Green Tree is a big, strong kid whose game is all about being around it. He finds his ways onto pucks inside the offensive zone, stays on them, wins battles, keeps his feet moving, though a little slowly from a standstill. Even though he's not the quickest player, plays an opportunistic style and then has decent skill and an NHL release. The puck comes off his stick hard and quickly and hits its spots. Wheeler says he hasn't seen a dynamic quality and his skating needs work, though his speed is decent when he gets going, and it's more through his first few steps. But he's got a pro size and a well-rounded toolkit and showed more and more individual skill to build out a nice statistical profile to complement the completeness of his game this season. Nobody was surprised when he was named Windsor's captain either. He's not going to be a frontline guy, but he looks like he's got the makings of a solid NHL forward who can play up and down a lineup. When one part of his game isn't working, he typically had a B game to fall back on. Concerns about his pace of play and lack of a dynamic quality have left some believing he's more of a late first or second than a top 20 guy, but Wheeler says he thinks a team could benefit from not reading too much into his U18s. Dayton Reimer of the Hockey Writers has a little more on Liam Greentree. Here are the rankings. NHL Central Scouting ranks Greentree 12th among uh, North American skaters. Future Considerations has him 14th. Elite Prospects has him 12th. Peter Bercini's March rankings have him 12th. Logan Horn's April rankings have him 17th. Andrew Forbes' February rankings had him 24th. Smot Scouting had him 6th. Bob McKenzie's got him 17th. Craig Button, 13th. Dauber Prospects, 13th. And Recruit Scouting, 15th. So here is what Dayton Reimer has to say. Of all the forwards available at the 2024 NHL Draft, Liam Greentree might be among the hardest workers. The Windsor Spitfires were one of the worst teams 
in the Ontario Hockey League this season, posting just 18 wins in 68 games and allowing 360 goals against the highest total by a wide margin. But they weren't the worst. And a lot of that is thanks to their captain, Liam Greentree, who put the team on his shoulders and made a strong case as to why he should be a top 15 pick for the 2024 draft. Green Tree's bread and butter is his shot, specifically his wrister. Being a bigger player, he can get a lot of power behind his shot, which already makes it a weapon, allowing him to fire the puck from anywhere in the offensive zone and get it by the goalie. His range has drastically improved from his rookie season, in which he scored 25 goals, most of which came close to the net. But what makes Green Tree's shot so dangerous is his quick release. He hardly needs any room to fire off a hard, accurate shot, and the speed he can release it makes it incredibly difficult for goalies to track. Add in a powerful backhand, and you have one of the better shooters in this draft class. It's no wonder he led the Spitfires with 36 goals in 64 games and was voted the third most dangerous in the goal area by the OHL's Western Conference coaches. Scoring is far from the only thing Green Tree can do. He's a fantastically creative player who can move the puck as though it were on a string. His puck controls, especially while moving, is not an easy skill to learn, but he makes it look almost effortless. His ability to think out of a quick think of a quick solution while being pressured can create some incredibly highlight-worthy goals and plays, and his slipperiness is comparable to much smaller players like Luke Misa and Berkeley Catton. Yet Green Tree stands six foot two and weighs in at 198 pounds already, which gives him a reach and a strength advantage that few top end playmakers possess. But one thing scouts keep coming back to is Green Tree's work ethic. As previously mentioned, the Spitfires were a terrible team this season, which put their captain in a difficult situation as he was tasked to do pretty much everything kill penalties, play on the power play, be the primary playmaker, and the team's go-to scorer. Yet he rose to the occasion and did it all and did it well. His 36 goals and 54 assists not only led the team, he outpaced the next highest scorer on Windsor by 24 points. That's already impressive on its own, but considering he's also one of the youngest players on the Spitfires and had little support around him, it's almost inconceivable. Green Tree isn't without his flaws, of course. His skating lacks a top gear, especially in a straight line, which can lead to him getting outpaced quickly, and his stride is a bit lumbering. He also isn't consistently aware of his surroundings, creating unnecessary turnovers, although part of that can be blamed on the team around him. And despite his size and strength, he isn't the most physical player. But when looking at the whole package, Green Tree looks to be developing into a modern power forward who blends high offense with an incredible motor that never quits, and a player like that will only continue to get better and better. Uh, draft projection for Liam Greentree. There's no doubt that Greentree will be a first-round pick, but will have some competition when it gets past the top 10. Who goes first, however, will likely be a matter of taste. Tisha Ginla has a fantastic shot. Michael Bransig Nygaard is a fantastic skater. And Igor... Shiraznov is an is aggressive on the puck, but Green Tree has continued to stand out, blending size, scoring ability, and a never quit motor into a very intriguing passage uh, package. Even if those other players are picked ahead of him, he won't fall out of the top sixteen. Uh, NHL potential, although frequently described as a power forward. Green Tree doesn't project to be a hard-hitting, goal-scoring menace in the NHL like Jerome McGinley or Cam Neely. Instead, he looks more like Jason Robertson, who had similar issues when he was with the Kingston Frontenacs. Green Tree will need some time to iron out his skating to get it to an NHL average level, but there's a chance that he could emerge as a 40-goal, 80-point player in the right system. Folks, his strength, shot, and shot variety – creativity with the puck and high motor um, areas to improve physicality, skating and quickness and consistency in decision-making. 
And, you know, you, you look at, obviously this is something that um, is intriguing because of his size profile and the shot, the two things that, that really jump out the size and the shot. But the thing that I think is a red flag here is the speed, because you look at adding to that mix um, for this Minnesota wild team. Um, I, I still consider speed something that should be looked at with uh, pretty much every prospect in, um, in the draft. Now you, you can't teach size. And so that, that certainly is, is something that sets green tree apart. And so, you know, I, I was reading all those things about the work ethic, about the size, um, and right up until the point that uh, he wasn't really a physical player, I was like, I could definitely see the wild go in this direction. Um, but, you know, green tree, size, and shot, I think are the two words that uh, that probably just describe him best. And so will that be enough for the wild to be swayed to pick him if he's there at 13? Time will tell. <laughs>